All right. Well, how do the people in the view of Earth design, Captain Steve? Now, I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. Yes, I know. So experimental branch 13th of the 10th. Now, I can't see that they're going to be rolling these out over the weekend, so I didn't really feel the urge to jump on this right away. I wanted to let it sink in a little bit first so I could think about it a bit before I made my video. And uh, I've got a little bit... <laughs> I have got something to say. So let's just jump on, jump on over to um, the Twitterverse. And I'll show you what I'm seeing on my screen. Right, so here we are on the Twitterverse. This is just one sort of patch from the Steam Experimental Branch. New Experimental Branch patch note. Are they serious about this? That's exactly what my brain said to itself when I first saw this. What purpose does this serve other than to make players even more judgmental to each other? And this actual update reads as follows. Player difficulty settings are now visualized next to their name, including a note if they have previously changed to an easier setting. Right. OK, well, over on um, Twitterverse, somebody has put up, I think this is a mock of how they believe it will look. However, that's not what they put in their actual comment. In their comment, they said they're testing already. OK, so I don't know whether this is an actual real life screenshot from Experimental Branch. I kind of doubt it, mainly because it's got all this at the bottom here, which looks like chat interactions. But at the top, it says playing in survival mode, but has been naughty and caught changing to easier settings when sentinels attacked. <laughs> all work and no play made a traveler a dull person. Interesting. Very interesting, if that is what's going to be happening. Now, there's lots of comments, people over on Reddit, going both ways, saying, you know, if you are a cheater, it needs to be highlighted. But then Hello Games put this in as a feature, saying, please play the game how you want to play. If you want to swap from one mode to another, then yes, if you want to cut down your boredom, all that sort of stuff, then you can. OK, so people have been doing so. And now they find out with this update, it's going to put something next to their name. Now, they might be halfway through doing a normal save or survival save where they've tweaked things to cut a few corners. I mean, I have inside of relaxed modes. So let me just hit up my actual game and I'll show you where I cut a corner. OK, so where I cut a corner was getting all these base parts unlocked. So even though I'm in relaxed mode, it still requires you to go dig up half a planet to get all the sort of salvage data to unlock all of these base parts. Now, that little slider, that little sort of setting for God mode negated that for me. So I can make my videos more interesting for people because I fairly much doubt the people in the viewer verse, you guys, want to watch me for maybe six episodes of me just digging up a planet for hours on end. You know, so I think... Hello Games implementing the God Mode switch, although I didn't like it at first, I have kind of liked that the fact that it helped me move forwards a little with some of the videos I've been making. But, you know, that's, that's I'm a content creator, so yes, it has helped me in that regard and helped me for video formatting. But no, I wouldn't really want to skip all this sort of stuff in my very first playthrough. And if I did, it would just be so I could build a freaking interesting looking base rather than a bloody shed. You know, so I can see why people might want to skip things, especially when it's so bloody boring digging up half a blanking planet. I think if Hello Games was to rework things or make things more fun to play, like, say, the digging up of planets to get the navigational data, why is that the only way to get this salvage data? Sorry, not navigational data. To get the salvage data. Why not do it so maybe every time you hit up a knowledge stone, it gives you a blueprint for a decoration or an accessory piece under the base building? Why not so, you know, every single time that you hit up a waypoint, you know, at any sort of buildings and things where you get navigational data and also some nanites that it actually gives you a base blueprint as well for something bigger like a, a concrete wall or whatever you know so you're doing other things that are quite mundane quite boring learning the words is quite mundane quite boring but at the same time it's unlocking something else that's quite mundane and quite boring like getting the base parts and blueprints there's ways and means that they could speed this up without giving us a freaking god mode switch and if they do want to give us a god mode switch i honestly think it should be given at the end of game so once you've gone through the whole of the universe, you understand that you're in a simulation and you end up next to your ship and your ship is broken to hell in a new galaxy and universe where you've birthed a star or followed the Atlas path, your ship is busted. Bring up a tutorial then and say, you've now got God mode. You can now switch into God mode and fix your ship for free. And it gives you a little mini tutorial. 
Brilliant. And then rather than shaming you inside of the Nexus, next to your name, it could maybe put in Atlas Seed and how many times you've rebirthed or how many galaxies you've gone through. Something more positive than negative to show how many galaxies you've actually charted. So if you've gone through like 10, you got to, you know, Eisentam or whatever the 10th one is, or yeah, then it says, you know, has reached Galaxy 10. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? With a little Atlas Seed. Or maybe that logo could change the further that you go. You know, somebody that's in Galaxy 254 or whatever the highest one is now has got an awesome little logo, you know? Something a little bit more notoriety, medals, rather than sort of shunning and shaming. It's it's a bit of a weird sort of choice. It really is. I, I don't get why they've, they've done that. It's It makes no real sense to me. And that seems to be what's being echoed here over on the actual Reddit side of things. I mean, they haven't gone into maybe display something that's a little bit more positive. I mean, you know what freaking Reddit's like. So, yes, a lot of people are saying, well, go check yourself. You know, you asked for this, so it's your own freaking fault. And in some sense, maybe, but no. You know, Hello Games implemented this feature, and now this feature is being hit with some sort of little, I don't know, mod sort of stamp to it or something. It's a bit weird when I think that this god mode sort of switch was to cut out some of the mundane grind but rather than make the mundane grind more interesting from hello games aside and actually put in a load of dev work they've took the easy option of putting in sliders and switches and now naughty you for using them it it makes no freaking sense to me whatsoever so there we go that's that's where I am with all of this. I think Hello Games should revisit boring areas of play to make them more interesting. Not throwing God Mode switches and little mini shortcuts that people are now going to get punished for using, because at the end of the day, you may use those to defeat the grind and play the way you want to play. So why give us all these custom settings? Doesn't make any sense, but I'm still rever reserving my judgment because I don't think that's a real screenshot. I don't think it's going to be that bold and bland and in your face as to why somebody swapped their modes around. I could be wrong. It might raise a smile. It might raise a giggle. I don't know. So I'm very much reserving judgment until I actually see real legit screenshots. And if that is a real legit screenshot, that's freaking scary. But anyhow, it's like um, freighter interactions. I find rescuing freighters really boring. After you've got your S-Class uh, freighter, you don't even do them anyway, and it's hard to actually ignore them at that stage. Even if you say, no, I'm not helping you, you still get locked into it, and you can't scan planets, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. But I honestly think, they should gamify this a little bit more. So when you do come into a system and encounter a freighter, if you do manage to kill all those ships, all the pirates within, say, I don't know, three, four minutes, then it's got a higher chance of that freighter being an S-Class. The more damage that freighter takes, the less chance it's going to be like a C or a B, you know, or maybe an A if you've managed to do it in five minutes or something. So it actually promotes players to upgrade their ships, get wingmen if they want to do it solo, and then they've got a better chance to get an S class rather than doing all this reload stuff, especially now they've removed the auto save features because that just makes it really tedious and hard to do. So I just think they need to revisit all the elements that are slightly stagnant inside of um, No Man's Sky, all the bits where they can see that there is a player grind and the player disconnect from the actual game and gamify it a bit more. It's like handing things into Kronos. One at a time, Hello Games. Why? What the... F Seriously, that's nearly sent me to sleep handing in a batch of 50. And sometimes I've got a batch of like 300 and I'm like, I get to 50. I'm like, no, sod this. I'm not, I can't be asked anymore. Why not do a bulk turn-in thing? But you get like a slightly lesser percent or something. There's got to be ways and means that you can make these things more interesting. It Just go through. Just do a playthrough. I, I'm noticing loads of this stuff since I've hit up a relax mode and playing through. There's, there's loads of things that I'm spotting that really do need bringing up and making more fun to play. Do that, add more game elements in, and strip out all of this sandbox stuff. You know, if you want to make a game that sits on a freaking shelf in a box, the sandbox appeals to a certain audience. And sadly, you was going the right way. You know, from next, this started shaping into a game. It started off a sandbox, started going into a game, all the way up to current freaking update until we hit waypoint and then it's gone straight back into the freaking sandbox mode again and i just don't understand the direction don't understand the direction i really hope that you go back you did say till now you've been painted with rather broad brush strokes and now you're going in and you're putting in the detail 
Didn't see that in the Waypoint update, no. What I see is a bloody paint over. I think you do need to go in and add in detail, but I think you need to focus your detail where the fun is lacking, where the boredom sets in, where the grind sets in. Make it more fun and make it so when you're doing one of the boring grinds, you're actually covering off, say, three things at the same time. I mean, you've kind of done it with the Travellers. The Travellers now, when you go to a Traveller, you get, you get yourself a glyph and you also get yourself a lovely module. Brilliant! Awesome! That's great! I'm now upgrading on the fly and getting my glyphs at the same time. Do that in other areas where you're doing two things to three things at once to remove the mundane grind. It's like the Atlas words. I go to see the Atlas for the first time, don't know shite, don't know nothing. So why not unlock Atlas words as you're doing the Artemis quest line and every time like, you fire up one of those beacons and you're trying to triangulate your position, maybe it brings down some data from the Atlas and you learn, say, 10 words and out of blast, or at least you know 30 words by the time you go to the Atlas and understand maybe the first freaking set of words that it says. And maybe every time after that that you fire off a, a signal beacon trying to find structures on planets and explain and do things, you're getting more words of the Atlas. You know that... I don't know, Hello Games. Just play your game through from a fresh save and just see where all the pain points are because there's enough of them. Yes, and just deal with those. Put that into an update, like a synthesis type update, and iron out some of the pain points, and then we won't need this god mode, you know? And then if it is delivered at an end game perk, it's like New Game Plus, and it should be a, a badge of something that you can wear and say, yes, I've done it, I've completed the game, and now I've got god mode because I've earned it. You know, <laughs> uh, it just feels like logic and reason. Am I talking out my backside, people? I mean, it doesn't matter what you suggest now. There's always going to be people that love the ideas and people that hate the ideas. I know what sits comfortable with me, but logically, this new change inside of the patch notes doesn't make logical sense right now. I need to see it in game before I can actually make sound judgment. But that's where I feel. And, you know, I'm going to be putting this live on the Sunday. I'll probably put out a poll or something over this weekend, see how you all feel about it. But it's probably not going to make it into this video because I'm making this video before I've done the poll. All right, people. Anyway, take care and have a wonderful weekend, whatever's left of it. Okay, bye-bye.